in my mercy paradise. Welcome to this week's Story of the Blues and today we're away at Tramay in the FA Cup. Looking forward to it, it's going to be a great away day, fingers crossed, an Oldham victory. of the cup it's the store of the underdogs it's the old school feel it's a big stage for some players it's about the part timers the ones for one day of the week they forget about the day jobs and they become potentially heroes on their own doorstep it's the lifetime memories it's the epic cup ties it's the old school stadiums it's the soaping pitches it's the fans all excited it's FA Cups that put some of these little towns and villages on the map even if it's just for one day or creates lifetime Legacies. The magic of the cup still exists. For the first round, many fans get excited ahead of the draw. For some of these players, the first round will be their Wembley. It will be playing in front of TV cameras. Despite the modern era of YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, seeing them, them faces, seeing their own team, seeing themselves score goals on the highlights of ITV and Match of Day, it still means something. Paper Cups, makeshift FA Cups, Bigger followings. Yes, the FA Cup is a big part of English tradition. With the exception of maybe France, other countries' cups do not have the shit, same glamour and appeal as ours do. In Germany, not all the professional clubs play in it. In Spain, it's seeded where the big home, smaller teams are always at home. In France, yes, it extends to the French territories, but in England, we have well over a thousand teams that take part. Starting in August, teams at play at just a very basic level, praying, hoping they can get that, to that big stage. The FA Cup, for many years, has always been seen as a worldwide cup, something that appeals audiences, TV, global stage. Teams from England love it, but it's also included teams from Scotland, from Wales, and yes, even Ireland. In this year's, we've had teams from Jersey, Guernsey and the Isle of Man. Whether people may say whether big clubs may dismiss it or not, on the day, there is still that epic feel of clubs wanting to create an upset. Upsets can be talked about and remembered for many years to come. It's a welcome distraction from the league. And tomorrow, the FA Cup Round 1 will see 64 ties. Again, every club open wanting, wishing to be in that third round. It's John Parker, Paul Prendergast, also for sending the videos and everyone else who's contributed to it this week. So the history of Tramay is the called Tramay Rovers, the nicknamed the Rovers, Super White Army, White Army. They were founded in 1884, 140 years ago, as Belmont FC. They actually planned the Wirrells, they're not quite Liverpool. The play at Prenton Park, which holds 16,567. It's one of the better away grounds I've been to with Oldham. The current leader and the experience, Nigel Atkins, is their manager. So their actual honours include 3rd Division North, Champions 1937-38, and Division 3 Playoff winners 1991. 4th Division All League 2, runners up 1988-89, Promoted in 1966 to 67, 75 to 76, 
and Playoff Winners 2019, National League Playoff Winners 2018, the Combination Champions 1907-08, Lancashire Combination 1913-14, Lancashire Combination Division 2 promoted 11-12, Football League Cup Winners Up 19, 99-2000, Association Members Cup Football League, EFL Troll Face, you want to call it, or Wins Quiz Office, 1989 90 winners, winners up 1991 to 2021, Welsh Cup winners 1934 to 35. Games with Tranmere have been very common over the years. We've beaten them 36 times, drawn 22, and lost 36. The first time we played was in 1935 in Division 3 North, and we won 4 1. And then on the 26th of December 1935, Boxing Day, they hold a record, basically, for our record, defeat, losing, 13-4. Last time we played them was on the 30th of April in 2022, we lost 2-0. It was basically after a week after our relegation had been confirmed. They have got a big history, Tramia. They had a golden team, roughly, in the early 90s. That's when like, we, f we first sort of started playing them, um, commonly FA Cup, League Cup. It seemed like every year we were playing them. It was three years on the bounce. Four were all Oldham fans, really. They haven't had a good start to the season and are currently 19th in League 2. There is talks of a takeover, including American star Rihanna, but there's other fans at the moment questioning where they're going to be at the moment. They've been in the National League before, they got out of it. And at the moment, if you look at them, there's seven points clear of bottom place Morgan, six points clear of Carlisle. So I wouldn't panic just yet, it's too early into the season, but I can see where the fans are coming from. In the 1990s, with Tramay's most successful pair, I said they reached the League Cup final losing to Leicester in 1999-2000. Under King, John Ke Johnny King, they n reached the playoffs. They never got into the Premier League. They came close to players like John Aldridge, Chris Malkin, Pat Nevin, Jeb Brannan, Kenny Irons, Sean Garner, who later played for us, Eric Nixon. And people were surprised because they had a very, very good team, but just never could quite get up there. Rivals, well, the nearest teams are going to be a Liverpool and Everton. Similar to us with the Manx teams, but they have lesser rivals with um, Chester, Wrexham, Crewe. They don't like Bolton, they don't like us, that's for sure, as well. So it should be an interesting game again today. So we're waiting for the oncoming train on board to Liverpool on the fast one as well. With Pete, how you doing, Pete? All right, mate. Prediction for today, please. Uh, two on Lottix. I'm going for two one, but I'm going for us to win it after extra time as well. Arriving now into Liverpool. Back to the quiet trip just gives a bit more extra time here. It's Ken Dodd himself, a legendary comedian. Where is famous when the Beatles were about and the manager from London come up? They'd always wait in his pub to meet him when he came off the train from Houston. It's also good for boozing him. Aaron had bombed out church in Liverpool with arms to stay coming up. So it's important to remember the sacrifice that the armed forces, those who gave their freedom in both world wars, so we could live in a free democratic world today. This statue, however, represents the famous Christmas truce which happened in 1914 on Christmas Day between German and Allied forces. Just remember, for all the stuff that's gone in the world, football is good at uniting and bringing people together. The best served scouts in Liverpool here. Let's find out. Liverpool's traditional dishes here. Scouts, but I've gone for cabbage rather than beetroot. Really lovely, it's a stew dish.
I mean, the famous cabin club here in Liverpool, or the cabin club. Basically, all music and Beatles from the Philly. It's a pilgrimage for any music fan, obviously, the light and see to different sounds and space dodgy. This would be my ultimate gig to stay out to my favourite bands. It's only 12 o'clock in the daytime, and you can see straight away the style. Modern bands, old bands. Got you, what are you? It's the Bowie. Morning scene, got a shop here. Even a Brazilian football shirt. Wow. Oh. 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 So I'm here away at FA Cup, just let's go for it, let's absolutely go for it. We don't see why we can't win. They've had a bad start to the season, we're playing okay. The FA Cup league form goes out the window. We've got players, we've got attacking forwards, sit the game to them, absolutely. I don't see why we're not going to... Why sit back? Why turn up for a big day out and get to win this? They've had a bad start to the season, they've been poor. Let's be playing cool. Let's switch them off. What old? Prediction flag, Danny. Ten nil, Oldham. Mickey Brabham hat trick. Where did you learn? We win ten nil. I will buy you fifteen Jaeger bombs. That's the way game. You know that'd be a miracle. Uh, three nil. And uh, Mike Fondock to come off the bench, score two. Arthur. One one. Uh, and an extra time winner. Who scores the winner? I, I, I think the Perry Perry King that gives the Perry Perry King. Ian, prediction. 2-1, Oldham. Pete's give me one, it's true. Well, you can't, you, no, one's got, no one's got a score on it. Sam Mina Mina! Hey, 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 Ah, what score? Two two, and then it's anyone's game from there. Right, Dave. What score? Right, uh, three one. Latics. <laughs> Simon. One nil to Latics. Eighty seventh minute. Norwood winner. Brilliant. <laughs> Come on, Oldham. Oh, Snap it. Brand new boy. Shoot me so 
got the goal to concede, one nil down, but plenty of time to turn it round. Clear it. I'm a flag. Oh, please don't.
finish it. Just get extra time. Just finish your job off. Found up again. Found up again. Cut. Clear it. Get rid. Get rid. Fuck it out. Punt it out. Chasing. Have you said how many minutes yet? Seven. Seven. Fuck off. Yes, yeah, seven. It's not even a real number. Yes, Hey, get him. <laughs>
Great day, great win. I don't think we're actually at our best, so I don't think it was the greatest game, but we did what we have to do. The noise we made was good, but the first 20 minutes or so were shaky. But the changes Miller made, especially pushing Klukas more forward, was good because it was clear the setup wasn't working. But switching to a flat back four paid off. And at 4 4 2, we looked better, we were more involved. Credit to Conlin. I thought Conlin, I know he took some stick, but he played really well. Raglan was immense. Kitchen, good lunch, and played well. Drummond had chances. Yes, I missed Norwood's goal because I'd gone for a pint, but. It's one of them, but we completed really well. And the whole team did put a shift in Norwood, put himself about well, took his goal, got a lovely flick on from Lucas. And this is today, as a Norwood, why we like him. The way he scored, the Norwood we got excited about, probably one of his best games in an Oldham shirt. And I'd basically have Norwood and Fondop start against Barnet next week. Yeah, Fondop come on for a camera roll. I couldn't stand him being cautious. So what I saw that start in 11, I said elsewhere, and I'm worried. We clearly missed Moffay, but we did what we needed to with all the players' rose to occasion. Jez took his goal well. Even if it had deflected, it looked good. It went in, it hit the back of the net, and that's what mattered. Payne played well as well. We were under the impression it weren't starting. Klukas looks to be a good side in early impressions. I hope it continues it also. Overall, we got the win. Next round of the cup. But before then, we've got yeah we've got the Wednesday night game with Wolverhampton, which is a free hit. But Saturday away at Barnet is a big game. I've read now the club are putting on an official coach. Let's get Barnet that way in filled. Let's get behind the team and let's get ourselves another big three points, which is equally important as a cup victory. I only saw Red Sister today from yesterday. One here. What a day, what an away end. That away end was absolutely bouncing. The atmosphere was from all. It's one of the best away trips I've been on in a long time. Brilliant day out in Liverpool. Good to see some of my tram air mates, Mark, Paul and Joanne. But it's just the way that away end, the way we got behind the team. And I won't lie, when I saw the lineup, no Moffe, I was worried. But then, as the game went on, I saw comparisons with a Forest game away, which you'll see earlier on. I threw, a, threw back in at the start of the flog. But... We took the game to him and the noise we made that day. It's why we need to get back in the EFL so we can have more games like this at better grounds, better days. Out, no disrespect to the National League teams, but this is why when people said, oh, Tramere was a rubbish draw. No, it isn't. That is exactly why on Saturday I wanted us to play him. And for the younger fans, to give, I know it's only Tramere, but it still gives us that insight, gives them something to excited about and it continues... A good form reps from in Chesterfield have both shown, shown in recent years he can get promoted out this league and still have a good FA cup. You could tell by Frank at the end with his fist pump doing his celebrations what it meant to win as well. Leighton Orient away. An okay draw. Leighton Orient are struggling at the moment. It will see the return of ex Oldham manager and player Richie Wellens. I like Orient away. It's one of my favourite away days. Last time we played them, they showed a lot of solidarity towards us and we're joining in the Abdul Route process. So let's not forget Orient, Orient themselves had their problems. But I also said it'd be nice when we get back to stay where we can both play football, still give each other a stick, them calling us Northern Monkeys, we call them Cockney Wankers. But I'd have preferred it at home. I said, I want a winnable tie, but I'll take that. And if we play like we did, I've been doing and go for it, we've got nothing to lose at all. So a quick look at the results now from the FA I'm not going to have them all, but well done to Harrogate for knocking out um, some hard luck Curzon. Again, all in it, we've got the next round beat Boreham World on penalties. Birmingham got through his expected at Wimbledon, knocking out MK Dons. Well done to Kettering for winning their Northampton should Derby beating Northampton. York went out. Well done and Alex Reed scoring, knocking out Grimsby. Stockport got through. Barnet went out. Dagenham not crew out. Bristol Rovers beat Western Supermare in extra time. Salford shot Shrewsbury. Stevenage knocking guys out on penalties. Halborough knocking out Tom Bridge. That was an upset. Dale went out 4 3 at home to Bromley with some last minute goals. Dramatic finish there. Tamworth beating Huddersfield, I didn't see that happening. 
but well done and well saw knocking out Bolton. That was another shock. Gaines were being Hendersford on penalties. The draw's not throwing up many eye catching ties this round, but I don't think we'll get on TV because there's still quite a few other ties. I think Ketwin at home will be nailed on the TV game. They'll probably show Birmingham anyway. Well, Storm Wickham will probably be a TV pick. Also, Harbour away at Reading may get shown. Also, I think we could be a good choice for the highlights. I just hope it's kept on a Saturday or at worst, a Friday. I looked at you, team, who took a beating off balance last week, but it's one of those. You move on, you learn from it. If we beat Tommy, cheers for watching. I'm Tommy Oldham. See the terraces. Come on, Oldham. Oh